All right, welcome to today's session on pelvic floor exercises, where we're going to go over some of the basic exercises that you can do from the comfort of your bed, or if you have a yoga mat and a harder surface. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lie down. So we're going to start with just some gentle pelvic floor exercises. We want to make sure you have your shoulders pressed against the mat, and you're going to have your feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart or hip width apart. So here you're able to see you have your belly and you're gonna be having your pelvic tilts. So the first thing that you're gonna do is when you inhale, you're gonna notice that there's a space between your lower back and the mat. Then as you exhale, you wanna tilt your pelvis in where you're gonna be pressing your lower back against the mat and you're gonna be pulling your belly button in towards your spine. So you wanna be working with your breath. Where you're gonna be inhale, creating that space and that gap Exhale, pulling that belly button in. And you don't want to be using your thigh muscles here. So you want to make sure your thighs are relaxed. You're going to be focusing on engaging the core muscles. So you're going to exhale, pulling it in, pressing that lower back against the mat. Your gaze is going to be up towards your ceiling. Inhale, release, tilting that pelvis forward. Exhale, pulling it in. This is also great for diastasis recti. This is a great exercise to be pulling together your core. Exhale, pulling it in. And it's just a very gentle shift that you see a rocking of the pelvis, making sure that you keep those thighs nice and relaxed, following your breath. Exhale, pulling in. Inhale, release. So with some of these exercises, when you initially do them, you might feel that they might be feeling a little bit easy, and that's okay, but you don't wanna be pushing it first because you might be feeling it the day after in your core and in your abdomen. So just doing five to 10 sets of each of these is perfectly fine. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna still do the rocking motion back and forth, but we're gonna go side to side. So we're going to be imagining here we have up, down, side, 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 side. So we're going to then rock down towards our right hip. So your right hip is going to be pressing down. Left side might have a little bit more of a gap. Exhale, you're going to be pressing down maybe a little bit more on the left side of your lower back and engaging that core. And you're going to rock side to side. So I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit. So you're going to rock side, side, and you're going to continue to do that. So before we were doing forward and back, we're going to now do side to side. So it's just going to be a gentle movement that you're going to be seeing and feeling. So again, you're going to then create that space as you inhale, create the space between your lower back. Exhale, rocking back and pulling Back. And again, keeping your gaze, your neck, your jaw all relaxed. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, pulling it in. And you might find that one side is a little bit easier, but we're going to again do five to ten movements on the same side, rocking diagonally. Okay? So again, remembering to just follow your breath and engage your core. The next one that we're going to do is we're going to now go the other diagonal. So we're going to push that left hip down. Exhale, coming a little onto the right lower back, pressing that back into the mat. Inhale, release. Exhale, pulling it in. Inhale, release. And this is where you might find one side easier than the other where you're just gonna make sure you continue to focus on both sides. You wanna make sure that they're equal and you're strengthening both sides equally. And again, just start with five to 10 times. You can do it a couple times a day, maybe when you wake up and before you go to bed, and then slowly working your way up. Because here you're focusing on those internal core muscles, which are so important, especially for a pelvic floor. So doing just a couple more and then release. And at any time, if you just need to go back to the center and just rock back and forth, 
back and forth, doing that just nice and slow, just going back and forth, making sure those thighs are nice and relaxed. And then the next one that we're going to do is if you have a ball with, with you, go ahead and grab a ball that is just within your hand size here. This is a, this is like a physio ball. If you don't have a block ball, you can use a block in between your thighs. Otherwise, what you can always do is you can take a pillow and fold it in half. You're going to just press it. You're going to place it in between your thighs. And what we're going to do is you're going to just start with first keeping your back in the neutral position. So you're gonna have a slight gap in your lower back and just squeezing that ball. You might feel that's enough for your pelvis area and that's fine. So you can just continue to do that five or 10 times. If you wanna take it up a little bit, press your lower back, engage your core. So your belly button's pulled down towards your spine and then squeeze, holding here for at least three seconds, three, two, one, release, release the back, exhale, pull the belly button in towards the spine, squeezing, three, two, one, release, release, exhale, pull the belly button in towards the spine, squeeze those thighs, three, two, one, Release, release. Exhale, pull the belly button in towards the spine. Lower back is gonna to be touching your mat. Squeezing the block or the pillow or the ball. Three, two, one. Release, release. The next thing that you're gonna do is if you wanna take it up one more notch further, and again, stick to whichever level works for you. What you can always do is making sure your lower back is pressed against the mat. Bring your knees up to a 90 degree angle and squeeze that ball. So you can place your hands beside you, palms facing down to support. Gaze up towards the ceiling, pressing that lower back into the mat. So again, making sure your belly button's pulled in, core is engaged. Squeeze, three, two, one. Release. Again, pulling that belly button in, lower back against the mat, squeezing. Three, two, one. Release. Again, pulling that back towards the mat, belly button in, squeeze. Three, two, one. And this one's a great one again when you're ready. If you're finding that your lower back is coming off the mat or your belly is poofing out um, or you're feeling when your breath is there, it's coming out, don't go to that stage. Start with some of the basics where you're maybe gonna be having your feet planted, your back pressed against the mat and squeezing or if that's even too much, just go to the very first stage where you're just squeezing and holding. See where your pelvic floor is and meet it there. And as it strengthens, then you're going to continue to progress to the next level. And that's where you want to start um, at the basic level and work your way up. I'm sure each of you will be feeling it tomorrow. And the next thing that we're going to do is when we're squeezing, we want to make sure and be mindful of our feet. So we're going to be pushing our thighs together. And we're going to be using our feet and almost imagining pushing them out. So as if you are going to be going into maybe a bridge and you're going to be using your hips, but instead you're going to be keeping your hips against the mat. You're going to squeeze those thighs and you're going to keep your feet pushing down and out. They're not going to move at all, but you're going to imagine that down and out movement as you squeeze. That will help you engage your core engage the pelvic area a little further. So that's something that you can also add again into each of the two stages where we just squeezed, imagine those feet being pushed out, or the second level, pressing that lower back against the mat, pulling the belly button in, squeeze those thighs, imagine those feet going out. 
and then releasing. Again, always following your breath. The last one that I'm gonna show you is using a strap. So if you're using a strap, you wanna make sure that you're not using like a dupatta or anything that is able to stretch at all. So if you have a strap, go ahead and use that strap. So if you're looking for any straps, I will link the straps that I have below. Um, and you can go ahead and directly purchase that from their website. So just making sure your feet are nice and tight. We're gonna then roll over. You're gonna hold on to the strap and we're gonna roll over onto our bellies where we're gonna be bringing the strap. We're gonna keep the strap beside us and you're gonna be pulling your feet in. So you're gonna be pulling the feet in with the strap but your feet are actually gonna be pushing out. And you're gonna then, as you inhale, you can keep your head down, you can place a pillow under your cheek if you'd like to stay comfortable that way. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull those feet in with the strap your feet are going to be pushing out and you're going to pull that belly button in towards your spine. So you're going to be tilting your pelvis in, right? So this is going to be going the other way where you're going to engage and tilt. So I'm going to just over accentuate this so that way you can see it visually. So you're going to be pulling in, you're going to be pulling your feet out and you're going to be tilting the pelvis in. So you're seeing how my pelvis is tilted in. It's not going to go that much, but this is just what it's going to look like. So pulling the strap forward, pushing your feet back, pulling that belly button towards your spine, holding three, two, one, release. Again, pulling the strap, pushing your feet out, tilting the belly button in, three, two, one, release. Again, pulling the strap, pushing the feet out, belly button pulled in towards the spine. Three, two, one, release. One more time, pulling in the strap, pushing the feet out, pull the belly button in. Three, two, one, release. And just slowly coming up with whatever is comfortable and then you can go ahead and just do a couple other stretches um, just stretching out your body but this is a great way to be able to support your core um, engage those muscles that are internal to you as well as to be able to strengthen and support your pelvic floor and just some basic pelvic exercises so i hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll continue sharing more videos that support your health and wellness.